hello there lovely people what's going on um today i'm gonna be doing another video right from behind the camera uh, because i actually have few fragrance i like to do this setup because i can show you all the fragrance at the same time so as you can see i'm gonna be doing a talk on the house of azaro and uh, azaro house particularly uh, chrome line i thought i already done this video i look for it i couldn't find if i am doing this redoing this i'm sorry but i think this is a fantastic fragrance originator is definitely from the left we'll talk about chrome and its uh, other flankers and i don't have everything i used to have one more perfume that is called uh, azaro chrome limited edition or something like that i don't have it anymore so i have a couple of samples i'll show you those and i think about four eight ten fragrances okay ten fragrances from chrome line and uh, there are a lot of these okay uh, so those who have been a fan of chrome you guys know this is a top seller uh, especially let's start with the original uh, this is the first very first taste of this line for me you know uh, when i used to live in back in malaysia i saw this hype on this people all the reviewers you can see these bottles are really nice only thing i don't like about the bottle is this base it's not very solid base so it's kind of like an eye okay and you will see that in azaro chrome legend cap as well when you have this kind of base it's pretty standing on pretty a uh, thin base which is very risky because you know i'm actually being careful these ones if you just knock a little bit they might fall and break okay that's one thing i don't like but the bottles look pretty cool it has this nice uh, shape to the bottle very simplistic looking bottle the cap is kind of chromish uh, if you never seen, check out my full-on reviews. Uh, this is the very first one. I had a 30 ml, and that was also very expensive in Malaysia for some reason. Uh, but for me, I never really fell in love with this perfume for some reason. I liked similar one. I liked is Nautica Voyage, but that's a lot more salty. This is basically a sweet floral. Um, let's say uh, this kind of chrome metallic and a little bit of sea breeze, soapy kind of fragrance. Okay, so floral uh, mixes with those other notes. So. At times, you know, I used to get good performance, but not really peace mode. I mean, it was in the same range as Savage because Malaysia is very hot and humid. But I kept wearing it, but I never really fell in love. It, it was a, like a fragrance for me to wear in the park or going for morning walk, evening walk, casual. The same setup where you wear Aqua du Gio, uh, CK1, fragrances like that. But slowly, it grew on me. You know, I mean, I don't mind it. This one you can have like massive 200 ml bottle as well. Uh, if you find this one you need, you like this smell. I think I'm going to buy a 200 ml in future. But I still have some juice left. As you can see, it's a nice little uh, sea color, sea water color juice. So for me, chrome, I think my fragrance guru Mark hates it. I don't hate it, but the floral can be a bit overpowering and keep bit, can be a bit much for summer. But it's a really good performer. Okay, so that's the very first chrome. That is the top seller. That is the money maker for this azaro chrome line okay and now we're gonna move on to the second one that i ever bought was this one this is a bit darker version of the original this is chrome intense okay this one also has a similar looking cap a bit darker i maybe maybe i'm not sure but juice color definitely much darker compared to the original dark blue okay it says intense or intense and base the same everything else is same just that it has a metal stem in there which is a lot more uh you know it's it's it gives that sort of like a metallic it's going to be uh you know perhaps uh <laughs> stating that it's going to be a lot more metallic but what i really like about this it's less for floral it's a lot more aquatic and it's a better performer than the original on me when i smell it it definitely has that original dna but i like that a lot more and i think this one has a little bit of depth it's a lot more aquatic in my humble opinion less floral metallic yeah but better deeper richer fragrance than original chrome um that is good for also all year round third one i'm going to show you i reviewed this from a sample before finally i have a bottle this is one rare fragrance this is azaro chrome summer okay and this one has really look at that bottle i mean that's a thing of a beauty it's the same shape everything but look at that glossy finish that's really good so when you um, talk about Mm, this uh, summer line summer basically is obviously it's for summer right it's very obvious so chrome summer it's not the same fragrance this one basically is very different what i get from this i think this is the 2012 version when i smell it let me spray a little bit uh, on my hand these caps basically are very light by the way they're not metallic the plastic painted chrome okay sprayer is very very good check out the sprayer on these okay sprays a lot of juice clicks onto place but these things they move okay they're not really uh, very uh, snug fit in there so what i like about this fragrance is that it has a very nice oceanic spicy nutmeg uh, kind of like a violet leaves and a lot more watery notes it's like a sea breeze 
it's something in line of Bulgari Aquamarine. So if you have summer, different summer will be different types, but I think uh, Chrome Summer basically here is really underrated. In the whole line, I like it a lot. This is a better performer than the previous two, mind you, okay? Despite being a summer flanker, this is something you should find and try to get, okay? That's Chrome Summer for you. So next fragrance you're gonna look at is uh, one of my fragrances I highly regarded. I really wanted this and I really gave it high mark, Chrome Aqua. Aqua Aqua or you see that with the white cap. This one is very fresh, very clean and a little bit deviation from the other three. This one smells a lot like Neroli Portofino or Costa Sura by Tom Ford. Very high-end sort of fragrance. Uh, kind of like, I don't remember the nose, maybe Juniper Berries. Uh, man, this was really nice. Look at that atomizer as well. I have to get a new bottle. This is really, Summer and Aqua basically are the same theme. So if you like this one of the previous ones is you, you're gonna like this and one a lot this one reminds me a little bit of uh cool water flankers like cool water if you ask me cool water aquaman similar thing you know it's like a aquatic oceanic most of them are basically for summer right this one you can take it for a beach day sort of like you know like same occasion where you wear versace uh purom or versace menu fresh you can wear that and if you are looking for something that in line with tom ford green line this is something i would highly regard chrome aqua very good fragrance very good performer next is my current favorite is chrome extreme a uh, lot of these bottles you are seeing but they have the differences trust me this hands down is the best in the line okay uh, from these bottle shapes this is the best in the line anywhere you go performance is good smell is damn nice it's deep sea smell is deep sea like under the sea man the smell and the atomizer is so beautiful and this fragrance I love a lot. It has some sort of fruity vibe to it and kind of like a deep sea aquamarine and with that lot of depth. So if you're looking for a deep, oceanic, sophisticated fragrance with a, let's say you can wear it in upper class occasion, I would suggest this over the previous four. So Chrome Extreme, definitely check it out. Check out my full review. So a little bit deviation. Uh, the other ones, they're also from Chrome line, but not in the same bottle shape. Uh, let me show you one of my older bottles that I collected like three, four years back uh, because I was a collector, I was reviewing, I wanted to review everything, but these bottles collect dust very easily. I still have some juice left. This is Chrome. I think Azaro Chrome, what is this one? <laughs> Azaro Chrome uh, Sport. Yeah, Azaro Chrome Sport as far as I remember. This one also has that Chrome sort of vibe. Okay, but okay, just check it out. This fragrance basically is nice looking bottle one thing it has the shape at the side but uh, i would say the sprayer is built in okay so what you're gonna get is a different looking bottle tall bottle and it's a lot more riskier than the other ones uh, but this is very nice this is similar to versace menu fresh okay this one right here if you like this one you like that one this is the chrome sport is a bit budget version of that one or even star walker for that matter why because i think this one can be had for under 30 35 dollars where versace menu is going to be 45 ish right 10 dollars more so you can opt for it it has good performance a lot more freshness kind of like out of the shower blue fragrance but very sporty and very lemony okay so a little bit different than the other ones after that let me show you an underrated one this one i have a massive 200 ml bottle i just saw the bottle i just liked it a lot look at the juice color and you can see the base is very beautiful so this is of chrome united there's a blue stem just like ysl a loam libre okay that one has this blue atomizer this is totally different this is not an aquatic this is basically based on black tea ah, let me spray a little bit man let me spray a little bit more yeah i can smell it now because i spray in the air this one what you're gonna get from this one a lot of uh, violet leaves one thing second thing is the black tea and white mask this one is a decent performance for office work and it's a little bit uh, more serious than the other one this one feels like a bit more formal if you're looking for a formal perfume less sweet less aggressive this is the way to look at and it's very sophisticated what fragrance does it remind me of uh not really exactly anything but if you think of again why is the loam libre you can try this one uh it has that violet leaves if you like zenia's womo this is a good fragrance also and if you like uh let's say fragrances like uh what else something has a violet leaves something fresh uh but not your typical freshy this one is definitely uh 
gonna be in your list to use for casually uh, casually in summertime okay chrome united try it out you can get a smaller bottle that's gonna be much thinner than this one okay so this is an underrated one just like i think i'll say summer these two are very underrated now my before i show you the azura chrome legend this is my most favorite from the line i'll talk about it last but i want to show you uh chrome i have a small sample this was i think gift or i bought from belal sharif bhai sent to our page in bangladesh he has these bottles this is called chrome under the pole this one has this white liquid and it is like a milky uh, lotion kind of juice and this one doesn't have any alcohol okay under the pole basically was uh, i think there was a special edition to support arctic nature uh, like you know environment or supporting the bears uh, the the life there you know under this uh, ice and stuff like that you know i don't exactly remember the theme but it was for the environment okay so this one is very lotiony it smells like chrome but without any alcohol right and it smells like a lotion it leaves the uh, lotion residue doesn't have any performance or any projection whatsoever but this is a cute one you can check out my review i reviewed that and check out the bottle on youtube next i'm going to talk about chrome pure this one i'll tell you i also have a gift from another brother i have a atomizer about 5 ml there and here maybe one or two mls okay so chrome pure what you're gonna get is a very beautiful bottle white bottle um and the fragrance is very nice very very nice i really like this one let me spray remind myself a little bit man this is really beautiful this is sweet this is sweet i don't remember all the notes but it got maybe orange something is very sweet in this okay so i i would say chrome pure is also one of my favorites if you are looking for some of the best chrome flankers i would say uh, chrome pure i'll let you know in the end which one is my favorite but let me finish with a good note that is this one chrome legend this is the legend of this line okay and i am just you know i'm i had another bottle where the top note gone bad i'm using it as a room air freshener but this is my last bottle this ones you can have at 75 and also 125 mils uh the bottle cap kind of cheap but this is the vintage bottle the new ones i had this tall thin cap with no neck looks very ugly but still pretty good i would say not bad but this is the legend it gets crazy performance crazy performance sweet tea tonka bean uh almost is like uh what else is in there chrome the oceanic aquatic nooks for uh very sweet just love the cap looks like an eye okay up top i really love this so this one nowadays i discontinue this formulation very hard to find and prices are going high if you want the best performer from this whole line you're looking at this one this is very sweet and trust me this one gets positive attention gets a lot of compliments so overall let's come in, let's come back to a uh, ending and conclusion which ones are my favorite what do you think about the line i think chrome is a, such a fantastic line but uh it's more on a casual side i can see that uh, not really high class ish not really leaning towards anything leaning towards niche perhaps the echo and extreme little bit but the rest of them they are like pretty much in the designer side so uh, it's a designer line first thing second thing is is for mostly casual usage the newer ones get a little bit more modern but uh, basically you use this for daily routine or going for shopping and stuff like that so chrome is for casual usage so in the end they mostly are all performers if you look for a budget fragrance at a uh, good price point and then good performance you get safe you know these are mostly on safe none of them are daring uh, you're going to get away with this wearing these perfumes anywhere same purpose as aqua di gio ck1 cool waters okay so my favorite from the line most favorite at this moment i would say it's a joint champion extreme and chrome legend always my love okay this one the also i would say chrome pure the white bottle just google chrome pure by azaro this is also my favorite these three are my top favorites from this line other ones are pretty good too all of them on average gonna get minimum 7.5 if i give ever 7.5 perhaps chrome united uh, chrome sport but most of them will get like eight nines okay so it's a good line solid line check them out and it's a very popular line so it was a it was a pleasure to review this line hopefully you will uh, enjoy the talk and try some of these chrome out and if you don't like it also it's okay no problem you know if you're into more uh, sophisticated fragrance that's also okay but this is a good summer line okay that's all i want to say thank you very much for listening and i think i'll move on to the second review take care